Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renu. Uh, today I will be talking about only TR to PR pathway. As far as uh, Federal Skill Worker Program and CEC, uh, we haven't received any update yet. And we had the first uh, draw for PNP last week and I've discussed in my previous video. You can always check and <clears throat> you know, uh, get through all the information about the updates under both the streams. Now, for those who have not subscribed to my channel, I would highly recommend. I have been covering a lot on immigration, so you will be able to get the quick update. Now, this is exactly uh, I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, first and foremost, we have started getting the rollouts for French stream also, and I've got hold of timeline under that. And for those who are traveling to move out of Canada at this point of time, I will be covering a whole case with you where person actually got the PR card. So yeah, you can always relate to it and take your call. And coming back to uh, anxious applicants, especially in first hour, let's quickly dive into our quick update. So as of now, if we go by the timeline under all the streams, IG stream is still in between May 6th to May 7th, the maximum. IRCC has reached out to 12.45 a.m. This doesn't mean that the first hour is all cleared. Uh, you know, even the candidates who are still in first hour from 12 to 12.55 uh, or 12.59 p.m. They haven't received AOR or any update from IRCC, so you're not the only one. Secondly, uh, they have been good updates in terms of rollouts, and uh, recently, in last two months, the number has actually increased. So yeah, we are very hopeful by end of December 2022, all of you will be able to get the PR card, and that's exactly mentioned on the uh, records, like as per the immigration authorities also. Under Stream A and Stream B, it's in between May 6th to November 4th. That's the maximum they have reached out. And if you know that November 5th was a day when it, this program was closed for Stream A, B and IG Stream. And for Stream B, uh, it's still in between May 6th till July 16th. So July 16th morning cases. Uh, people have started getting rollouts. However, there are still candidates who have applied on May 6th and they haven't received any update from IRCC. Under French stream, this has been pretty good in terms of getting the AOR. Uh, they have uh, been candidates where they got through, uh, you know, PR card even for August applications. Now let's uh, quickly discuss the uh, screenshot which I would like to share with you. The bottom wood might not be clear and that's the reason I have picked up and, and wrote for you guys. So let's uh, talk about workers in Canada healthcare. So stream A, where the target was 20,000, as of all of you know that, and it actually reached to 308 uh, by May 6th at 5.52 p.m. And when I talk about it, it's in Eastern time zone. Under stream B, uh, non-healthcare, the target was 30,000 and it reached to 2,528. Now let's talk about IG stream. Uh, the target was 40,000 and it reached to 20,413 by May 6th at 5.25 p.m. So you can imagine in first five and a half hour, it almost reached to half of its gap. So you have to be, uh, you don't need to worry about, honestly speaking, because we are looking at a huge number. There are still candidate in first hour. They haven't received any response from IRCC. So you're not the only one. Just have patience. There are a few things I have discussed and I'm going to reiterate in today's video. In case if you haven't received any uh, reply from or any response from IRCC and you still want to update uh, your information like your status, you can certainly do it through web form. Although it's mentioned on IRCC website that they are not going to accept any unsolicited document. But hey, there is no harm. And I know personally few cases where they actually raised the web form and document got accepted and visa officer did not ask them to redo it. And the processing time was little less than what it would have been. Secondly, you can always reach out to IRCC customer support. Now, not many of you know that they have full access to your file. So when you call them, uh, there would be few options. So you might have to choose the UCI number and all that stuff. And then it will take you to the customer support. There's a long waiting. You can always try back, you know, just hang up and then try back if possible. Uh, that has been a quick attempt uh, where people got hold of customer support and they would be able to look into your file and tell you exactly what's going on. Thirdly, in case if you're still perturbed and haven't got through any response, you can always uh, 
raise GCMS notes. So with that, uh, there's an additional fee, of course, attached with that, but you will be able to get complete history of what the visa officer has made points, um, you know, what exactly is going on in your file, where exactly it has reached, things like that. Now, if it's possible, you can always link up your application. I have explained the whole process. By linking up, you should be able to get an update what's going on under your file and uh, whosoever is assigned to your file would be able to get you the requirement for like ADR. That's an um, <clears throat> you know, like requirement in terms of biometrics, police clearance certificate, uh, RCMP fingerprints, or, uh, you know, things like that. Okay, now let's dive into our first timeline of Adnan. Uh, <clears throat> now, he has applied on May 6 at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time zone. During this processing time, he went to India and he was there for a good number of days, I must say that. He got the AOR while he was in India. He linked up his application still there and then passed like got the medical approval that it's passed uh, under his portal and even uh, when uh, you know he got the biometric request also like a BIL while he was in India so he submitted like he gone through the biometrics while he came back and he submitted it while landing here in Canada after that he got the portal request on November 18th and then the ECOPR on November 19th. Now when you receive an ECOPR you have to update your information with IRCC about your address and your photograph so he did it and he got three times uh, you know like the, his photographs were returned three times so this is amazing and uh, then he got the PR card that is today <laughs> January 11th so this could be one of the things. Uh, to avoid that uh, time taking process, my advice is to get your photograph from a professional instead of wasting your time with any random guy. Yeah. Moving on to another timeline is of uh, Manindra. He has applied on May 6 at 5.35 p.m. Eastern time zone and uh, BIL was uh, requested on December 8th and uh, he was able to link up the application. Usually you should be able to do everything like linking up the application, get the AOR and ADR on the very same day. And then he raised the web form after receiving an AOR. Now, he raised the web form like he submitted his IELTS TRF and IMM 5669 because he thought that there is something is missing out there. Even after doing that, there was an ADR for IELTS TRF and uh, he got he submitted it again, uh, although it was in a week's time period. And then he got the ECOPR on January 11th. So when you receive an ECOPR, just keep that in mind that you have to link your PR uh, application so that you should be able to get the PR card. Now, in case if you're unable to do it, don't need to worry about that. Sometimes there could be a technical glitch, so just keep that in mind. Coming back to your traveling, just hold on to if it, you can, unless and until it's not important. If you are traveling, just be prepared that it's gonna delay your processing. And for how long, there's nothing uh, uh, much I can say about. It depends upon the visa officer, whosoever is uh, being assigned on your file. So it may take up to uh, two more weeks or maybe four more weeks or maybe six more weeks or even a week. So it depends, you know, case to case now. Okay, <clears throat> this is a timeline of Joy Lee. Uh, she has applied on July 2nd. Now, this is uh, what I'm talking about. It's under French stream. So she got the uh, BIL refund letter uh, from Sydney office since she has submitted all the documents in one go. So there was not any ADR and then got the AOR that was last month only in, on December 9th. There have been a couple of ghost updates. If you see like December 24th, December 29th, she in fact called up IRCC also. And according to the information, you know, the agent has her file. Uh, and then it was processing through white horse and as I said that sometimes uh, you might get go hold of good customer support or a good, good um, you know agent where they will have an access to your file and they should be able to give you an update whatsoever is going on and the notes whatever it's been um, no jotted down by the visa officer so yeah just give it a shot in case if it's possible to get an update from them and then the PR confirmation portal was yesterday uh, sorry today it's uh, January 11th. Okay, Andrew's timeline, he has applied on June 4th and he linked up his application on January 9th. So this was like two days ago and then, you know, 
uh, he got the AOR yesterday only and then the BI. So again, as I said, that these things would happen repeat, uh, in a span of say two or three day, days time period. So for those who are just waiting, don't need to worry about that. It's just a matter of time and it can happen at any given time. Moving on to another timeline is Yahya. So she has applied on May 6th at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So this should be 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, now she got the AOR on December 16th. So the application was linked by her representative. Now you can also do it depends upon, you know, sometimes you might have the liberty to do it. But I would recommend in case if you are filing through third party, just keep in touch with your third party associate and uh, he and she would be able to access all your documents like ADR, AOR, BIL or whatsoever is coming through you. I uh, like uh, for you. So in this case, um, she got the portal request that was um, last week on January 4th and today itself she got the ECOPR. So you can see this has been pretty fast and uh, just a week time period uh, from portal request to ECOPR. Sometimes it may take less, like maybe two or three days time, or it may be a little long, so it varies. Now she has to wait for another three to six weeks time period. Earlier, we were getting PR card for uh, within a period of say four weeks time, but now it, the speed has been increased. So yeah, it's getting quick now. Okay, this is Angela's um, timeline. She has applied on May 6th at 10.59 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. She received the AOR, link up the application and biometric like the BIL all in one yesterday evening. So that was on January 10th only. And this is, you can see that right now you're just waiting for your uh, you know, file to be processed and maybe tomorrow you have all the documents in go. So yeah, don't need to worry about that. Don't take stress about it. It's just a matter of time and uh, time and again, I've mentioned this has been the fastest immigration program ever in the history of uh, immigration ever since 1913. So guys, don't need to worry about that unless and until it's something, you know, you might have done a blunder or so. In case if uh, any document is missing, that's fine. You know, visa officer would definitely ask you. So yeah, just, just relax. Okay, <clears throat> another timeline is of Akash. He has applied on July 26th and the medicals were passed on November 22nd. AOR was received within four days time and thereafter like almost like 20 days later he got the ADR for police clearance certificate and then the portal request was on January 6th ECOPR was on January 10th now for those in case if uh, for those who have already applied police clearance certificate or any other document just make sure that if you don't have the availability and you think that this is going to take little time in applying for that particular document I would recommend please submit the confirmation receipt along with the LOE. LOE means a letter of explanation. So just give a defined reason that uh, why this is not possible and what kind of action you have taken uh, to get that document within the deadline. So this is what visa officer would be interested to know. So just keep those little things in mind. Uh, there would not be any rejection. Uh, however, it might delay in case if you are unable to submit the document in time, uh, but it's it's like you know things like uh, basic things but in case if you um, i'm sorry to say that in case if you're unable to submit the document within the time period allotted by visa officer like even a loe or any confirmation receipt is not being sent i'm afraid your application might get rejected and it's clearly mentioned into the letter also that the document has to be submitted within 15 days time seven days time period or 30 days time period so just keep those little things in mind because this is crucial and also if uh, you have already submitted PCC you have not traveled outside Canada uh, this is a repeat question and I'm trying to address it to you uh, guys please submit the expired copy but along with that submit the confirmation receipt for the new one don't take any chance at this stage uh, this is going to ruin your case so yeah just be a little serious on to it Right, so I hope this has been little help to you and in case if it does, uh, just write me back with your timelines, whatsoever is going on so you can help each other and for more updates, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will be back very soon with more updates on Federal Skill Worker programs, PNP, CEC and then 
ongoing my TR to PR pathway. Uh, this has been one of my favorite, I must say that, <laughs> because this is the fastest one. And uh, yeah, kudos to immigration department, how fast they have been. And, uh, you know, look at the expedite uh, processing. I mean, I'm amazed to see that. So yeah, just relax. Uh, you will get through it. All right. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.